In this video, I'm planning to give you a high-level security overview on Project Firefly. Security is a huge topic. Given that I don't want to turn this video into a 45-minute lecture, I'm going to focus on two particular aspects of security today. First, we'll go through access control for Firefly applications. Then, we'll dive into the out-of-the-box features and support for building a secure application using Project Firefly. All right, let's start with application access control. So, who can access your Firefly application once it's published within your org? Well, the conditions are listed on your screen right here. First and foremost, each Firefly application is always owned by an experienced cloud organization. Business users need to log into Experience Cloud and be members of this org to see this application. Given a user can belong to multiple Experience Cloud orgs, this user will be able to see different applications accessible to them when he or she uses the org switcher to change the current organization. Secondly, even if the user and the app are in the same org, the user needs to have access to all the Adobe products used in the application in order to access this app. For instance, let's say the app uses Analytics and Campaign API. Only users with access to both should be able to use that application. This is to ensure we're not exposing data to users who are not supposed to have access to them. You can manage each user's access to Adobe products through the Adobe Admin Console. Behind the scenes, we have what's called the Adobe Identity Management Services, also known as IMS. IMS sits between your enterprise end user and your Adobe solutions, handling all user authentication for all Adobe solutions. When the user logs into Experience Cloud, IMS grants access to the user through a user token. This user token is used by us to validate whether the current user should have access to the Firefly application. As you can see here, we do that on multiple levels to ensure the application is fully protected. Even the backend action requires the token validation before anything can be executed. Moving on. Time to discuss application security. It is top of mind for us to ensure our out-of-the-box functionalities enable you to build secure applications with ease. We're gonna to touch on three topics in this section. The security of running your application in Adobe IO Runtime. Handling authentication to APIs in your backend service and ensuring secure access to data and file storage for your application. Starting with runtime. When your backend services are running in runtime, the services essentially exist in the form of actions, standalone or orchestrated. When invoked, each action runs inside its own container. The container may be reused for the same action, but never for another action nor another application. With the action code isolated within the container following industry standards, the action does have full access to the internet, so you can make calls to external services as you'd like. Nonetheless, the code you write should always follow best practices to ensure it is reasonably secured against malicious attacks. You should also be mindful of the packages you use for these actions and check your dependencies routinely for any vulnerabilities. All communications are secured by HTTPS. Communications from your functions to any other service should also use HTTPS or other secure channel whenever possible. All right, shall we dive into the backend service inside runtime? If you want your application to talk to Adobe services, note that any Adobe API accessing service, data, or content 
requires authorization and authentication through the identity management services. It usually follows the OAuth 2.0 protocol or JSON Web Token Standards. You can set up your credentials through the developer console. These credentials determine what content and data your application can access. To talk to Adobe services within your application, you can include the IMS libraries that we have prepared for you. This library allows you to easily exchange credentials for access token and to cache the token for performance. As I mentioned before, within your application, you will be able to access any external services or APIs as you'd like. While we don't have any native support, thanks to the Node.js community, there are many NPM modules you can use to help generate your access token for these APIs. As you know, we provide out-of-the-box storage for file and for data. In order to simplify connection to this service, we have built libraries that can be used inside your application. Once you include the library, you can initialize by exchanging your runtime credentials for a token that grants you access to file and to data storage. This token, granted through what we call Adobe IO Token Vending Machine, or TVM for short, is temporary and restricted. In addition, on the service level, all the file and data storage are isolated and containerized by application so that your application won't be able to access data and files stored by another application. I hope this was helpful for you to learn more about access to your application and the tools at your disposal to build a secure Firefly app. To learn more about security, please visit Project Firefly on the Adobe Developer website.